so yes so we were discussing that how krishna bal krishna asked these boys to go and ask the brahmanas for the charity some food in charity so all these boys they happily went to bal uh, to the brahmana's mouse they went to the brahmana and then they asked for charity they said that krishna balram they have come here they are close by in the forest they have come for tending uh, the cows and can we have some food for them because they are all we are all very hungry so now these brahmanas they were actually they had arranged a very elaborate fire sacrifice many of them were doing certain ahuti and the sacrifice was going on and this particular sacrifice was being organized because they wanted to go and enjoy in heaven they wanted to go to swargaloka and they wanted to enjoy so basically the sacrifice was happening for their personal benefit so they wanted to enjoy and when these boys reached there and the boys were asking and they did not respond so they neither said yes nor they said no i mean these boys approached very humbly they paid obeisances they paid dandavat pranam and then they asked for it but these brahmanas they were like non committal they did not say anything so then these boys they came back again to krishna balram and informed and krishna just smiled there so though those people were very disappointed those these uh, friends of krishna were very disappointed but krishna just smiled there because krishna knows that when we go krishna was teaching us a lesson that when we go asking for something in charity that whatever is the outcome one need not get disheartened so anyway so here there is a life lesson like how the brahmanas they neither said yes nor said no so if it is neither yes nor no then there is neither goal clarity nor role clarity it is just a dilemma so these people these brahmanas they were neither clear that what they should do what they should not do what is their duty what is their goal they were not clear though they have they they were such advanced brahmanas and they know how to do these fire sacrifices etc but they did not know how to respond when the supreme lord has sent a messenger asking for some food so anyway so krishna tells these boys because these boys came back and then krishna tell, told these boys okay now you go back again and you would find their wives the wives of the brahmanas you tell them that krishna balram are here and if you would like to give some food and krishna specifically tells don't tell that krishna is hungry because they are my devotees and they would feel very disturbed if they will know krishna is hungry so this is what krishna said and though these boys were hesitant but then they went again and this time they went to the wives of the brahmanas and let's see what what is the situation of the wives so here this is the verse from shrimad bhagavatam chap canto 10 chapter 23 and verse number 20 nishidhyamana pati bhir भारतिर्भीर्बंधुत भगवती उत्तम श्लोके दीर्घ श्रोता धृताशय ऑल दो देर हजबेंड्स ब्रदर्स सन्स एंड अदर रिलेटिव ट्राई टू फॉरबिड दम फ्रॉम गोइंग देर होप ऑफ सींग कृष्णा कल्टिवेटेड बाय एक्सटेंसिव हियरिंग ऑफ हिज ट्रांसेंडेंटल क्वालिटीज वन आउट सो वॉट हैपन दीज वाइफ्स ऑफ द ब्राह्मणाज they have been hearing a lot about krishna so like how we discussed about the fruit vendor so similarly these wives of the brahmanas though they were in their houses only but then at different occasion somebody would come selling the bangles someone would come selling the fruits so like these people would come from vrindavan and then they would discuss about krishna and balram so they have heard a lot about krishna so here it is specifically mentioned that their desire or their hope of seeing to krishna was cultivated by extensive hearing so they were hearing extensively and that is why they were attached to this transcendental qualities of krishna so though we saw that the husbands were so educated yet they did not became connected or excited or thought of even serving krishna but the wives could see krishna now how did the wives see krishna 
the wives saw Krishna through their ears. So even before seeing Krishna, they had already seen Krishna through their ears by hearing such beautiful pastimes of Krishna. So when they heard, they were very eager to go and they were very eager to serve Krishna. So what they did is they packed all the varieties of food what they had and they rushed towards the place where Krishna was there with his friend. And when they reached there, what they see? Now there is a beautiful description of Krishna that his complexion was dark blue. He was wearing golden garments like he always wear this flashing golden color dhoti. He was wearing a peacock feather. He had applied various colored minerals like the minerals they make paste and they apply all over the face for decoration. And then he had decorated his hair with flower buds and he was wearing a beautiful garland. He was wearing a nice um, beautiful flower garland and then he was standing with his one hand resting on his friend and on the other hand he was holding a lotus and he was just twirling this lotus. So Krishna was just relaxing with his friend like how we see sometimes the friends do resting one arm on the other friend and just twirling the lotus. So that is the description and Krishna was looking so amazingly beautiful and all these ladies, these Brahman Patnis, they were fascinated and they were just looking at Krishna, the Supreme Lord. And it is mentioned that they had brought all four categories of food stuff. So food is divided into four categories. One which can be sucked, one which can be licked, one which can be chewed and one that is to be swallowed. So sucking, licking, chewing and swallowing. Four ways the food can be consumed. And they had brought all the various categories of fruit, the food and all the food stuff had such nice aroma coming out of it. And they all ran with whatever pots were there, whatever they had cooked for the sacrifice from morning, whatever they had cooked, they took everything and they reached there to see Krishna. And it is described that because they have heard so much about Krishna, Prayah Shruta Priyatagma Doy Karna Priyair, their ears were decorated with the ornaments of Krishna's glories. So they had decorated their ears and that is why they were seeing Krishna and their mind was completely absorbed in Krishna. So this is how they had come leaving everything just to see the Supreme Lord. In fact, it is mentioned that when these boys described that Krishna and Balram are there, some of them fainted in happiness. They were so ecstatic and happy that they just fainted. They became unconscious. And then these boys, they told and they are hungry. So fainted, but the moment this thing, they heard that they are hungry. So they forgot everything and just one thing that how can I serve Krishna? What can I give Krishna? So they packed everything and they rushed towards Krishna. So what is happening in this case is a life lesson for each one of us. Hearing intensifies the absorption. So because they have heard so much about Krishna, they were intensely absorbed. And now what is happening to them can happen to any one of us is mentioned here. Imagine how beautiful it is to execute the process which is the goal also. So what is the goal of a devotee? To be absorbed in Krishna. What is the process? To absorb in Krishna. What is the goal of the devotee? To hear about Krishna. And what is the process? To hear about Krishna. So it is like on a journey which is the destination also. If I am going to some place and the journey itself is the destination. So that is how is the beauty of this process. That is how if we hear and we are completely absorbed in Krishna and we want to become Krishna conscious and in the process itself we are Krishna conscious. So the end result is to be Krishna conscious and to attain that end result what is the process? To be Krishna conscious. So now let's see when they were completely absorbed what these ladies started singing. So these are beautiful verses and I would like you all to repeat with me. We will go a little slow. Tumi Swami, Tumi Putra, Tumi Bandhu Jan, Tumi Ishta, Tumi Mitra, Tumi Narayan. 
तुम्ही स्वामी यू आर अवर हजबेंड तुम्ही पुत्र यू आर अवर चिल्ड्रेन तुम्ही बंधु जन यू आर अवर रिलेटिव तुम्ही ईष्ट तुम्ही मित्र तुम्ही नारायण यू आर अवर फ्रेंड यू आर नारायण सो वेन दे आर स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ कृष्णा दे आर सींग दैट वी डोंट वॉन्ट एनी थिंग यू आर अवर हजबेंड यू आर अवर चाइल्ड यू आर अवर रिलेटिव यू आर अवर फ्रेंड एंड यू आर दी सुप्रीम लॉर्ड नेक्स्ट वॉट दे आर सींग हे ना नारायण तुम्ही नार रूपाधारी वृंदावन क्रीडा कर आपानी श्री हरी हे ना नारायण तुम्ही यू आर दी नारायण नर रूप धरी नर रूप यू हैव टेकन दिस नर रूप और ह्यूमन लाइक फॉर्म वृंदावन क्रीडा कर आपना श्री हरी एंड यू आर एंजॉइंग दीज वेरियस पास टाइम्स इन वृंदावन so see the point is those brahmanas could not identify those brahmanas started thinking why should we give food to krishna and balram they are just some normal human beings our food is meant for sacrifice our food is not meant for these normal people and these ladies who were just sitting at home who have who are not so much educated and they are singing such beautiful song they have instantly identified krishna how they have identified krishna they have identified krishna because they have heard about him somebody is asking here to me ishta means what ishta means the supreme lord and then they are singing uh, yeah ishta dev like we have ishta dev and then they are singing a little more to ma ke dekhi ba to ma chinti mane mane फाले तो मा देखी याने। तो मा के देखी बे तो मा चिंती मने मने वी विल सी यू अगेन एंड अगेन इन अवर थॉट्स चिंती मने मने इन साइड अवर थॉट्स इन अवर हार्ट वी विल कीप सींग यू कता तपा फले तो मा देखी नु नया ने हाउ मेनी ऑस्टेरिटीज डिड वी परफॉर्म इन अवर पास्ट बर्थ्स that we can now see you with our eyes so this is the consciousness of these wonderful wives of the brahmanas kripa kari anna more magi le narayane te ni se dekhi nu mora to mara charane now what they are expressing kripa kari anna mora magi le narayane ki it is a great mercy out of O oh Lord Narayan we beg you please be merciful you have asked for our food please accept the food teni se dekhi nu mora tumhara charane and they are like still not able to believe that they are actually seeing krishna face to face so they are expressing now with our own eyes we can see krishna so this is the beautiful wonderful expression what these ladies got instantly when they saw krishna and they wanted to give up everything and they wanted to be with krishna so on that krishna replies in this verse number 33 shanava darshana dhyanan mai bhavo nu kirtanat na tatha sannikarshena pratyata tato grahan it is by hearing about me seeing my deity form meditating upon me and chanting my names and glories that love for me develops not by physical proximity therefore please go back to your homes so this verse is uh, this verse is from shrimad bhagavatam and the song which we were singing is by composed by a wonderful poet a devotee poet so that is not from shrimad bhagavatam this is sanskrit that was in bengali the verse was composed in bengali that was by gunaraj khan so that is the description of these ladies how they are feeling so now when krishna hears from them that they wanted to be with krishna so what krishna is instructing is go home and carry out your duties and he is simultaneously telling them that you hear about me you meditate upon me you worship me in deity form you chant my name and glories so here there is a beautiful life lesson that krishna does not want us to leave our homes 
see after geeta made easy class many uh, we got some phone calls where people actually wanted to come leave their homes and join iskon so krishna does not really want us to leave our homes what he wants is to serve him at our home while attending to all our responsibilities so this is what krishna wants us like how he instructed these ladies to go back and what happened is when these ladies came back they returned back and husbands happily accepted and then the husband started lamenting and the husband started thinking that oh this wife of mine who has not got the brahman samskaras have not happened she has not gone through that upanayanam ceremony she has not lived as a brahmachari in the ashram of the guru she have not done austerities she has not even tried to understand what is atma and what is parmatma forget about all those things she has not like followed very strictly the principles of cleanliness and rituals and yet she achieved the mercy or they achieved the mercy of the supreme lord and on the other side though we have done all these things and yet we could not attain the supreme when krishna and balram came asking and yet we did not give them the food so they started repenting and they started cursing themselves and then they started thinking that how the wives are very very advanced devotee than them and then they mention there there's a mention i think in the verse number 43rd the brahmanas are saying that they developed all this unalloyed devotion towards krishna how just by hearing about krishna so they heard so much about krishna and that is why they developed such a strong desire and everything else a person does did and yet he could not identify when the when krishna actually sent a message so the whole point of today's session my dear friends is seeing krishna through our ears so with this we conclude the session and here we have the chapter overview so today in the first section we discussed about the course overview where we discussed that how this course would be based on navavidhi bhakti then we discussed seeing through ears what to hear nature of hearing why to hear what is the result and from whom to hear and this all was illustrated with two specific pastimes from shrimad bhagavatam one was the pastime of the fruit vendor and the second one was the wives of the brahmanas so from this section from this session onwards we have started offering a return gift so we have a return gift for all of you and a return gift is something which is like the essence of the course and which we don't want you to forget so these are the take homes these are the return gifts so there are certain do's which we learn from the course one very important thing is that this whole thing is manasa mahotsavam a perpetual festival hearing is a perpetual festival going on in mind so when there is a festival at home how everybody is in festive spirit and how we are not tensed or anxious about other things in the life we are busy celebrating the festival so similarly when we hear from shrimad bhagavatam actually a perpetual festival goes on internally and that is how we can get rid of all the negativity and anxieties of life so we if even if you remember if even if you forget everything please remember these two things गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति एंड तुमी स्वामी तुमी पुत्र तुमी बंधु जान तुमी इष्ट तुमी मित्र तुमी नारायण एंड वी डिस्कस द डोंट्स आल्सो एंड व्हाट वाज दैट डोंट शॉर्ट फॉर्म पीएनपीसी सो दिस पीएनपीसी इज परिनिंदा एंड परिचर्चा so when we are discussing we discuss about krishna when we are discussing we generally glorify and we don't talk the negative so this is what we uh, completed in today's session and there are a few announcements so one is that we have a question answer link which is posted in your description in the youtube and in the facebook description the link is posted video description in the video description 
and that link is for the question and answers. So any questions you can post it there. Second announcement, tomorrow evening 5 to 6, we will be going live discussing some of those questions which you would be sending us in that question answer link. So now this program, how it is designed is one week we have the, uh, sorry, one day of a week we have the session and on Sunday evening 5 to 6, we will go live again and we will take up the most frequently repeated question in the question answer list. All the other questions we would be answering, you would be receiving the answers through your email IDs. But tomorrow evening 5 to 6, we would go live for the question answers. Is there any other? Yes. So as I requested in the middle of the session also, I request that those of you who are watching on YouTube, ABB Raman, Aswitha, and uh, Veena, Sudeshna, and Kiran, Kiran, Mohit, Mridula, Irish, Vishwanathan. Yes, so all of you who are watching on YouTube, I request to kindly subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon, icon, bell icon, so that you'll receive notifications. At the moment we go live, you'll receive a notification. So with that, we thank each one of you, each one of you who are there with us live and those of us who will be watching a recording a little later. So thank you very much for joining us for this wonderful session about hearing. Shravana. Uh, and a last thing, I, while I was reading through the chat, many of you have mentioned that you could not register for the course. So kindly contact 9840. 9840-229-226. The phone number is 9840-229-226. Either WhatsApp or Telegram. If you are having any difficulty, kindly contact that number. Thank you. Hare Krishna. <laughs>